Hey, Cole. So, um, obviously this is a wild year and, uh, you're the captain of this team. I uh, just kind of wondering, you know, I know I talked to Adam at one point, Adam Basker, and this felt like a season long road trip. Um, I like, I wonder if you could just kind of talk a little bit about the bonding you guys had, the team feel that this, this year had, um, because of all the COVID restrictions you were living with. Yeah, it was a little harder to get together with all the rules we had to deal with, but, uh, I think we made the most of it when we were at the rink, which was a big deal. And, uh, yeah, it seemed like we were on the road for quite a bit there. And it was a little tough at some points, but uh, we, we can't do anything about the schedule and just you have to deal with it. In terms of the, the leadership group, um, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about how important it was to have that veteran leadership, what you guys were able to do for some of the really young guys who maybe shouldn't have even been here uh, in a normal year. I think the three of us did a good job with the young guys. Uh, normally I had a few more old guys there, but uh, I think us helping them, they took some big steps this year. I'll let someone else. Pat, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, Paul, uh, you've obviously been in some different stops around the league. Uh, was there anything coming to Texas that uh, kind of you learned uh, and were, were able to add to your game or just, you know, learned about really this entire business? Well, uh, the sun comes up here a little bit more than everywhere else. But, uh, you know, I like the way things are done here. And uh, if I had the opportunity, I'd love to come back. Um and then, you know, you came here as kind of a strange situation with, with Milwaukee. Um, how did that whole thing kind of unfold? And, um, you know, what were your expectations when you came into Texas? Uh, well, around Christmas time, I found out that Milwaukee wasn't playing. So it was a tough time for a little bit there. And the uncertainty was, wasn't was very good. But uh, then I got the phone call to come to Texas. And, you know, Texas is one of the top sports spots that everyone wants to go to in the league. So it really wasn't a hard decision. Thanks. Taylor. Hi, Cole. You've been on a couple of different um, teams in a couple of different seasons. What do you enjoy most about learning new systems where you go, or are they pretty similar at this, at this level? Oh, well, well, everywhere you go, it's a little different, but uh, it was kind of similar to what we were playing in Milwaukee. So it, it wasn't that hard to adjust here. Perfect. And then how did you kind of step into the leadership role being one of the newest guys on the team? You hadn't really, you didn't really know Texas. And then you kind of came in and stepped into that leadership role. I feel like I've always been that way uh, type of a leader. So you just come in and you just be yourself really. Great. Thank you. Saad. Uh, Cole, I just uh, just wondering, what did you was there a player, um, you know, one of those younger guys like Riley or Thomas? Uh, was which player kind of caught your eye the most this season? I mean, those two really are hell of players. You know, I came in not really knowing who they were, and uh, you know, you, you look at Riley, and at first I saw him; he's a smaller guy, and then you see him when he gets in games, and he just kind of not really surprised you but he had a like a hell of a season and I don't I wasn't expecting that but he was very good and then Harley's just I don't know don't really have words for him he's he's going to be a good player for a long time and he comes into this league where he's not supposed to be here yet and he just dominates I mean he just can fly anytime you see him get the puck you're like oh he's going to blow by that guy and you just know he's going to be good Well, the only thing for me, uh, when you go into this season and, and Texas being one of the locations that has fans and you played in Iowa, obviously, as well, uh, just what were the differences this year of playing in front of fans versus some of the cities where there really weren't anyone? I mean, you really miss them, honestly. You, you, know, you don't want to play in an empty arena. And sometimes when you do that, you have to create your own energy, which, uh, you know, when you got a full building in Texas and you score in a goal, yeah, uh, you're building off it, you know, and some of those buildings where there's no one, you could hear a pin drop. Uh, yet that's all like you had to create your own energy or you weren't getting it from anywhere else. 
Stephen? Yeah, Cole, just with the whole season behind you now, just wondering, is there any particular moment, game, instance that kind of you'll take away as a memory from this season that really stands out to you in, you know, five, ten years that you'll be able to look back on? I think all the home games really just being here, it was awesome. And the fact that we were willing to have fans and they were supportive all year was super nice. Uh, there are not really any moments in particular. I mean, talking about some of these young guys too, it's it'll be fun to see them grow up a little bit more and see what they can do at the next level. Great, thanks, Cole. Any final questions? Yeah, just a couple for me. Um, Paul, uh, what lessons or, or takeaways can you maybe bring from this season with everything that you and really all the players had to go through uh, and take it forward in your career? Well, I think the coaches did a good job. Uh, I'm getting older, so I want to I want to stay in the game. You got to learn. You can't never stop learning, basically. And uh, I think the young guys really did that. They wanted to learn and get better. So I think between the leadership group and the uh, coaches, those guys, I think, got better this year. And just uh, last thing, uh, you know, you went through free agency and, you know, different points in your career. It was tough this past off season for a lot of veteran guys. What, what do you kind of anticipate for this summer for guys like you who will be going into free agency? Well, it seemed like this year was so jammed together. So hopefully we'll try not to think about hockey for a week or two here and uh, relax. But, if, you know, it's, it's nice when you have those two-year deals and it's mm – -hmm. A little stressful when you're waiting around sitting don't know if someone's going to call or not so uh you just got to sit and wait great thank you